It's Project Sam time again. Hi, everyone. This is Orchestral Essentials 2, a little walkthrough of the instruments that you can find in the sequel to Orchestral Essentials 1. It was not called 1, was it? They didn't call the film Jaws 1, did they? They just called it Jaws. It's a bit presumptuous. Anyway, uh, that was Orchestral Essentials. This is Orchestral Essentials 2. It's more of the same. If you look at the instruments between the two, they're broadly uh, the same. Minor tweaks, but... It's the same thing. It's this great collation from all of other Project Sam stuff. Uh, Equestrial Essentials 1, I suppose, obviously would be the most essential. But I think you'll find it's quite a big old range they've got in here with some incredible stuff. Uh, this is the just pre-release version that I'm on here. It's about a week or two from release, I think, but it's it feels pretty finished to me. And Project Sam are very good. They always give it to me and say, well, we... People seem to like what you do, so just say what you think. And I do say what I think. I say the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. So uh, kudos to Project Sam for that. Uh, we start here in mixed, orchestra, in mixed orchestra, full orchestra with choir. Um, this, I think, I don't want to start with a, you know, really bigging it up. But it is, I think this is an incredible patch. I really do. Because, you know, big or full orchestra with choir, you go, okay, this is going to be kind of... And it is. You know, you've got that. But what I really love about this is the lower dynamics. There's a little bit of harp in there. There's a, and they, they, they do this trem thing with the string, with the strings. And they, I just think it's really fantastic. So I've got, watch the mod wheel in the corner here throughout. So if you're going to watch one thing, watch this because this moves a lot. So. Your apologies to James Horner. That's you've got this yellow section in the middle. If you've got one of those new native instruments control keyboards, oh, excuse me, moving the chair, all these different sections will light up magically on your keyboard. Um, I'm waiting for them to do a proper full 88 note version before I go there. Um, but uh, this sort of shows the different areas of the patch. So you've got brass in the middle, you've got And you hear there, at the lower dynamic, it's just choir, and then the strings come in as you ride the mod wheel up, and at the bottom... <laughs> Listen to that! Yuck. Not yuck to the sound, yuck to my playing, but, you know... What more do you want? But I love how versatile it is. Some of this stuff's come from Lumina. You see Lumina here. I don't think this particular combination was in Lumina, and I really, really love it. That's, that's one of my favourite things ever. Um, high violins with choir. We have high violins and a lower choir. Playing it up the top here, and it has this kind of... Quite sort of delicate kind of quality. These are, they, they do like their combos, Project Sam, and they, they know exactly what instruments to put together. Here we have a bassoon, the low piano, and a harp all together. It's foggy. A lone man walks down the alley. Something's amiss, you know. It's that orchestration. It's they they do that lifting for you. They know right. These instruments are going to go right together. They I think they record them together in the same space, so it sounds completely natural. Um, this is um from there we are. It's down here somewhere, isn't it? Animator. This is from. Uh, the cartoony library, which is great. Now, you'll notice there's quite a distinct difference there in the sound. It's, this is much drier. And I think the idea, as you play and hold, you've got the long notes. Play gently. 
you have shorter staccato. Um, and the thing about this is that is that it's. I think that the idea is that cartoons often have that slightly drier sound. However, of course, what you can do is I've just got my auxes, my contact auxes set up here to add a little bit of room around it, so to make it. If you wanted it to sit more with the rest of your stuff, if you like that more orchestral, wider sound, stage sound, here's the early reflections coming in. Early reflections are when it sort of puts it in a bit of. It almost pushes the instrument back from the microphone. It's not like a big cavernous hall. It just blurs the sound a bit. So you might put a bit of that in. And here I've got my tail, which is the room. You know, that's some massive great orchestra. So you put a bit of both in there. I've kind of overdone that a bit, but you know, you get the idea. I'll put it back down before I forget. Uh, and now this is the same patch. This is that was 12 megs of, of RAM. I'm using this is a very light library. It doesn't use much resources. I'm running it off SSD. If you know about preload buffers and contact, that's how much you load into RAM of each patch, and the rest it streams from the disk. Uh, I'm running at 18, I think. So these are pretty light. If you're running at higher settings, it will use a bit more RAM than this. If it's SSD, 18 is fine. Um, ignore that if it didn't mean anything to you. So here we've got a speed control. So you know I said if you hit that hard, you get the longer patch. If you now change the speed to be really slow, that's much longer again and faster. And if you want, you could uh, you could map that to a mod wheel. Learn. So I've learned CC automation here. I've got the mod wheel. I've moved it. Now that's moving the speed. So. So that's super fast, super slow, and you can have fun mucking around with all that. Uh, strings and wind staccato. It's a really kind of it's. This is a great sound. It's It's got, got bite and edge, but if you just need that little bit of sweetness in it, that's what I think what the woods give you. And strings with brass swells. This is where you want to get some great big, you know. Pretty epic stuff. Legato cellos with bassoon. There's a number of legato instruments in this. Legato, if you're new to all this, legato records the transitions between the notes. And so if you're playing a line that sort of flows, it should be a lot more realistic. I'm going to show you a trick here. Now, to me, we're going to come on to a couple of legato instruments that I think are Fantastic, just as good as you'll ever get. This one, it's pretty good, but I sort of hear a bit of those transitions. Now, there's a little trick you can do that helps. Uh, with my early reflection and tail reverbs, let me just start dialing a bit more of that in, early reflection, perhaps just a bit of tail. Now... To my ears, that's all blending that bit better now. Built into Orchestral Essentials, you have reverb, which is the tail, which is the, my, that's what I'm using uh, here. That's the kind of the sound of the hall, the big hall. I think the real magic in making this glue work is actually in his early reflections, and and. That might be something that would be nice to see maybe in a future version. As well as having reverb, you could have this sort of early reflection thing because it really helps, I think. But it's pretty easy to set up. Most of you will have a way in your door of doing that to set up 
just your own really short kind of space that acts as this diffusing sound. Very happy with that. Early reflection is the magic there. And it's a nice combo. It's a great sort of cellos and bassoon. Um, beautiful combo there. There are, Now we have some textures. Now, composers often get very upset about these things because listen to that because it's lovely but of course it's pre-baked all those elements there you can't do a lot with it it is what it is sort of thing so if you want a quick hit it's great but then you've got to be careful of how you get in and out so it doesn't sound unnatural and composers are like well I'm not composing am I I'm not actually choosing the notes it's all the notes that yeah, yeah I mean it's fair fair enough it's they've got a point so to me this is perhaps not the most important part of the library but that said I mean listen to it you've got less elements in this so if you just want a more simple texture you've got that and then if you want the big finish I thank you. All. You know, but it's it's a trick, isn't it? It's a trick, but it's a it's a very good trick. Uh, and you've got dreamy textures here, and this perhaps is a little it's because it's that simpler. It's perhaps that little more usable. I don't know. That's me hitting it hard, and then quiet. Good stuff. Now, this is an important patch. In the we had a, a, a basic string ensemble in orchestral essentials. Here, this is Sordino. Sordino or con Sordino is with mutes, where they put these mute things on the string. It gives it a sort of a, a softer sound. And in this case, it's like this. Again, I'm on the CC one here. So you could put a good amount of expression into it. It never goes to the full-on kind of thing. It stays in that sort of... softer register, which I really, really like. There's no arguing with that, is there, really? That's fantastic. This is a clever little thing. So you've got this nice bite. Ah, do you hear what happened there? So you go. What's happening there is if I, if I hit it hard, you get that. If you hit it softly. You know. And if you play fast... You can get these runs, you get a run down that sort of blends in very nicely with itself. So that's a handy patch. Flagiole, is that how you pronounce it? Apologies if it's not. I can't remember how this is played. My niece Emma, I should apologise to my niece Emma, who's a fantastic viola player. And um, she told me how you play all these things, and of course I've forgotten it all. But this is that... You know, often you can have this as an element, but very often that's pretty much all you'll need for a, for a scene or a moment, isn't it? You kind of... You're immediately on edge and... Ugh. But it's kind of... It doesn't have to be that edgy stuff. I'm playing those kind of chords that allows for... That. Very kind of gentle... Um, moments as well as those edgy stuff you can do ponticello ponticello tremolo tremolo tremolando I don't know. in the mid-range here violas and cellos now 
if you don't know what the name is, don't recognise the name, you'll know the sound instantly. It's it's like trem, but it's it's harsher, it's more brittle, and it's kind of like this. You know. You're on an island. No one knows where you are. It's an uninhabited island. But there's a metal hatch! This is an awesome patch. That sound is... Gorgeous. It's a natural kind of length. Now, what you can do with this as well, it's got speed here so you can make that longer if you need to or of course and this really smooth isn't it i think that's really smooth how you as i showed before you can just map that to the mod wheel it's not by default is it no uh, there you go. And so you can... Really fast. Oh, excuse me. It's uh, right at the top end, you, you, you hear a few of the artifacts, but there's a huge range where you don't, where you can... It's a very musical, very useful patch. We're back with our textures now, which is pretty much the same as our mixed orchestra, really, only it's just a strings element. There it is again. So you're already familiar with it. It's it's that's where you got to be careful. Is, is these things can get overused. Beautiful though it is. String effects. Now, this stuff, you can never have enough of this. Blimey! Ah! <laughs> that great discord into a wide option. into psycho territory there, aren't we? What's that? There's such a diversity here. It might take you a while to find what you're after. Oh, I like that. Try that again. And these, some of the, some of the Project Sam effects have been so used to death by people that you hear it and go, oh, where have I heard that before? But these, they're less familiar. They're kind of fresher, I think. I really like this set. You are feeling very sleepy. Look into my eyes. Great, great. And those also have speed control on it. And, you know, I've demonstrated the speed controls. No point going through that again. This is a clever little beast. So, epic French horns. You think, ah, I know what we're getting here. Not quite what you think, okay? It's... Oh, that's my top note. Well and good. Fine. Okay. French horns. It's not a legato patch, but perfectly nice. Now, here's the thing. Here's the clever thing. As you probably know, this mod wheel here in the corner, that's how I, you know, that's how you get the dynamics into things and you, you go from soft to loud and everything in between. With this is different. They've got, if you whack the mod wheel right up, you get this, that shake effect, which is great. 
and I've got it before. But what I really like about this is that you can, what you can do is you can just ease it in. If you just want to give something a bit of an edge. See that I'm barely riding it, but it's quite a subtle effect and I really like that. Again, that's new to me. I, I don't have anything that, it tends to be a bit sort of, or, and to get shades of gray in between is tricky, but I think they've programmed this really nicely. And you can just, ah, oh, the moment's passed. You know, you can do that stuff. Brilliant. Speaking of brilliant, this is my new favorite thing. It's just perfect. There's a Symphobia patch I use a lot, which is brass without trumpets. And it's similar to that, but I think this is even bigger somehow. Because they put the octaves thing in there. They're orchestrating it in octaves. You've got this. If you want your noble and majestic, I'll give you noble and majestic. That's noble and majestic, if ever there was one. Tuba long. This is just a solo instrument. It's not a legato patch, but it's working quite well there, just playing. And I love with the with with when you have the solo instruments, they can work really nicely when you're playing chords. They don't get too big, and you don't get that synthy effect. Got a lovely warm tone to that. This is perhaps less warm. You know what that is, don't you? Don't you? You know what that is. It's the mothership! It's all that, isn't it? Do -do 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 -do. That's got a real bite, that's lovely. Now. I was promising you legato sugary goodness, and it doesn't get more sugary or goodery than this. I think this is just amazing. I'm going to tell you something for no reason. I was at the Tower of London yesterday. I live near London and we all went up and we saw there's a thing at the Tower of London where they've got like 800,000 poppies for all people who were killed in World War I. And at, at dusk, someone comes out and plays the last post. And what I just played sounded a lot better than what he played yesterday. It should be played on a bugle. But I was kind of, whoa there. Anyway. I'll, I'll get in trouble if I say too much more over that. But that, I mean, that's just beautiful. Of course, bugles are five notes. You play. The dynamics as I ride the mod wheel, fantastic. Ooh. You can play super fast. Even up to trill speed there. I'm just playing one note. And it's automatically re-triggering the other one as I let go. That's as good as a legato patch gets for me. That's absolutely brilliant. Well done, them. It's like they know what they're doing. Um, whoa, we're in trouble again. We're back on the island. All these variations, it's all good stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know what I about hearing something a lot? That said... 
as times when only that will do. More of those shapes, but in an ensemble. Great. And all of those are available with the speed control. Moving on to woodwinds. We love the brass. How's woodwinds going to go? We're starting with more legato. Okay. It's quite close. I would like to put some of me little doodah on that. I think it's beautiful and it's playing really nicely, but I just want to push that back a bit. This is early reflections, remember, so it's a, that short reverb. That's sitting in space a bit nicer for me now. Again, I'm playing really fast, it's sounding great. And it goes lovely and low as well, doesn't it? Look at that. It's a huge range on this. It's got that great expressive breathiness thing. If you want a really vanilla part, a really kind of plain part, this might not be the instrument, but if you want something with that expressive taking centre stage, it just nails it, doesn't it? Ah. Oh. Beautiful. Oboes. That's me playing. Oboes can sound really kind of too nasal very often, but this is quite a sweet oboe, I think. It's a really nice tone. Still an oboe. Again, you get some expression there. It's really nicely at the top, isn't it? These are really, really nice. And another one. Three. Just off the range, stop. No, it's one of my doing. Bass clarinet and contra bassoon, so it's really kind of. We're back in that alley. Swirling fog. Men with hats in silhouette. On the trail for something, possibly. Brilliant. That's working very nicely for me. Hold on, have I still got the... Yes, I have, haven't I? Still got early reflections on there. So... Fast playing, not quite as good as the other ones, I don't think. But there, the, when I had the early reflections on, that blurs it better. So... Whoa, not that much! Gee, what am I doing? What am I doing? That's working. That's working. Very nice. Flute with piccolo octaves long. That's got that kind of... I always think of World War II when I hear that. Great escape and all that stuff. Um, oops. Beautiful tone. Why do you want a recorder? You don't want a recorder. Unless you need to go to the 15th century. I'm a sucker for me. Yeah, I'm going to put it on here as well. It's a good recorder. And like I say, there's times when you just need to to do that ye olde thing. Have I talked you through his, this yet? While I'm here, you've got a compressor, a delay, a pro filter, stereo width, is it? I have to say, that's not doing a whole lot. Um, oh, delay. Got to turn it on, that's why. Uh, turn it on. 
you aren't doing a whole lot for me. Uh, honestly, I, you know, for orchestral stuff, I tend not to. That's why I'm not playing with it. That's why I forgot to even show you. Um, there, you know, you might want to get a bit funky with it and do some sound design, but probably if you're into that, you might be using more complex tools. But, you know, it's there. I'm not going to grumble, but uh, it's just not really super useful for me. Me, me, me. It's all about me, isn't it? Right, okay. Ah, how lovely. <laughs> What's going on there? Oh, dear. Just falling down. Oh, it's got, got a bit darker now. Oh, yeah, it's going a bit wrong now, isn't it? <laughs> Love it. All available with speed control at no extra charge. Percussion, big drums and cymbals. So where do we start here? A bit lower than that. Good Lord. We're on the Titanic now. Water's coming in. We're below deck. Oof. Creepy. Soft beaters. Hard beaters. I think there's some whoop here, if I remember. There is war. War. So you play those two together. If you want a big impact. Ah, rototoms. Love rototoms. Love them! Used to hear them in action scores all the time 15 years ago, 20 years ago, and not so much anymore. I don't know why, because I love rototoms. Here's your cymbals uh, with crescendos of varying lengths. Um, you got to have them. Use them all the time. Timpani. We love our timpani. So we've got our hits here, we've got our rolls here, all of which will be, so if you set your mod wheel about there, say, and you want to go, I've hit the, so you start the roll with hitting the top as well, roll, and ladies and gentlemen, I proudly give to you Orchestral Essentials 2! Vibraphone, I use a vibraphone all the time to do things like this, ooh, that's interesting. Slightly strange and curious. And it's quite jazzy when you. It's got good dynamic range on it, this. But I, I'm a fan of you, and I'd probably push this back as well. I'm always wanting to push stuff away. pedal there it's a beautiful thing bowed symbols what's a bowed symbol it's one of these hear them all the time in chillers Ush, yee, really great for scary atmospheres bell tree another thing i use probably overuse you just tinkle those in all over the place Push them back. Get that as well. Great. Uh, keyboards. Intimate piano. This is um. So this is a full piano. It's if we open up the wrench here. Uh, you need full version of Contact to to. This is where you start playing under the hood. Um, what that says to me is this has eight dynamic layers, which for Considering this isn't a dedicated piano library, that's pretty darn good, I think. It's almost like I'm just making it up as I go along, isn't it? It's quite... It's quite a sort of a bright sound. It's not got a real richness down the bottom. It's quite...
it's great and we're, i'm not doing the multis in this but of course the moment you've got a good piano in there that means that you can start integrating that into multis and having real fun with it a box organ sounds like this that's it's like fairgrounds of 150 years ago or something isn't it probably won't use that massively uh now is this symbolum chimbal symbolum i think I'm not going to play Sherlock. I'm not going to play Sherlock. Cymbalum's a great instrument. So you have two versions. The let ring here. Actually, I'm on well, my foot on the pedal as well. That's without any foot on pedal. But like a zither, isn't it, this instrument as well? Oh, got a foot, take a foot off the pedal. So when you release, basically when you release your, foot, your, your, your fingers, it... That's with my foot on the pedal again. Uh, lovely instrument, love it. Prepared piano. This is this weird stuff where they put bolts on it and I don't know... Bizarre sounds. Actually, this this... It's a relatively demure prepared piano, I think, as far as it goes. Weird. Hey, it's there if you want to use it, fill your boots. Uh, Flagile again, concert, on, a, on a harp this time. Perhaps if I just... I'm not playing it like a hub at all, no, I'm not. Just taking some of that front edge off. Take loads off. Very nice. It's not, yes, it's, uh, there is a harp in um, in here, isn't it? Yes, of course there is. In Orchestral Central, there's the, there's the normal harp, but that's a, an interesting variation on a the theme. Choir, we've got to have a bit of choir, haven't we? Ooh, yes. Ooh, we do. Eminently usable. Swells, these. Um. Beautiful. And textures. Very handy, all that stuff. Sound design. This is not a big section, but it kicks when it's got it, if I remember. You've got to love any patch called Glorious Carnage, don't you? Oh, 
bastard. Can't sleep. Speaking of that kind of stuff, I think we've got more of it here. Right. Bode type things. Good stuff. Nine. Bonus. Go away, Mr. Phone Call. Do apologize. Um what have we got here? Oh uh, sorry, I got distracted by me phone call it isn't. So Let it go and it just stops, or it will come to a natural end eventually. And that's just hall noise. And that's kind of a lot of people love doing that with mock ups. If the, the number of instruments is varying a lot, or there's a quiet patch and it just goes to dead silence, it's a bit of a giveaway. And so you can just use this as glue. And now this, you'd have to hear. You have people wearing headphones or something to hear what I was doing, but that's a nice bit of quiet glue. Oh, look, we finished the end. We finished the end. It's only 43 minutes. Probably a bit less because, anyway. Um, well, I just think that's fantastic. There's so many usable things and stuff, probably more than in the first one, stuff that I haven't already got. There's lots of goodness there. And we'll go into the multis in another video if you're into that kind of thing, because I am where you can create whole things all put together to, to, to get stuff done quickly or give you instant inspiration. Join me for that one, if you will. Thank you again, Project Sam, for, for, for letting me romp around this. Uh, and as I always say, see you on the next one.